Hello, today is video number two of my October, probably trio, but this time I have some magic. And a bit more magic. Really thought that the snap would work, maybe it's the double clap. There it is. So, uh, just a second, let me just see if this works. Okay, and good. My magic is working perfectly. I know these introductions are going on forever, but I'm going to say, if you haven't read the title, you should know that this video is going to be a few things that are better in the theory than in real life. Kind of like, uh, kids. Yeah. You want them until you get them, then they're just, uh, crying all day. That's actually example number one. Example number two, let's just get into the video. Stop talking, Dylan. Okay, I think we all know this one. Essays. Now, I wanted to do a video about how school's a joke, but I'm gonna have to do that one after I graduate high school. I think you get where I'm coming from, so I'm just gonna quickly make this video because I want to talk about something about essays. I hate essays. I mean, if you think about it, what are they good for? I mean, apparently you're supposed to write them so that you can use them to get into college, but then what are they used for after that? I mean, like, they're good in theory. Like, it's a good way to get all your notes down, but in practice, like, you're having an argument like, oh, you are so gonna get it, you know? Yeah, you are so gonna get it after I write this essay. You are gonna be ro roasted. Yeah, just a minute. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you are so gonna get it. Hopefully you could read that. Her gonna be pretty good. Yeah, done my outline, and they're gone. Not even done my outline, and they left. Essays are absolutely useless in practice. That is why it's on this list, because essays are useless. Okay, I'm just going to keep saying this. Essays are useless because English is a stupid class. I just can't say this enough. English is a stupid class. I, you know, if I would, I could use these foul language because that's how much I hate English class. And yet you have to take it for all years of your high school. Well, I don't really want to bore myself, and I'm already making too many mistakes in this video. Next, moving on to one-way streets. Yeah, one-way streets. I mean, I don't really have a very big problem with them, but if you think about what they are for, then like, they're for things to go in one direction. Cars, motorcycles, for one direction. But what if you make a mistake and you make a wrong turn? Like, this is a one way street. You have to get from point A to point B. Point A to point B, okay? You, this is a one way street, okay? Point B is here. So you can go there and there, or you can go here, make the wrong turn. You get here, realize you made a wrong turn, but you can't go back that way, so you have to go down here, and then maybe you make another wrong turn, go this way, and then you're lost. What are one street, one way streets good for? Please, tell me in the comments. I mean, if you have a good idea, I mean, like, I know it's to, like, stop it, traffic from being too chaotic, but, like, why can't they just make it two-way? Like, why? What made you, who possessed someone to make it only go one way? I know, like, you learn to drive right side, or in Europe, left side. Some places of the world is left, some places of the world is right. But, like, where do you, where are you taught that you have, you can only go on one side of the road on some streets? One-way streets, I believe, are the worst. Not the worst, essays are the worst, but I'm gonna say that my next point, or the next thing, is a little bit off, because uh, you wouldn't think so. 
what next is the whole saying of treat other people the way you want to be treated. Now, that saying is good in theory, but in practice, it kind of doesn't make much sense. I mean, what if someone wanted to be treated like a giant wrestler always wanted to be punched in the face? Yeah, that's how he got motiv motiv yeah, motivated, yes. He just liked to be punched in the face. So does that mean he can go around punching people in the face? Because that's what it means. The you know, Treat other people the way you want to be treated saying means treat people the way that you want to be treated. So like someone likes being punched in the face, it's like awesome. It like pumps them up. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. So according to that saying, he he wants to be treated by being punched in the face. He, the way he wants to be treated is being punched in the face. So that means he has to treat other people with the same respect. He has to punch people in the face because that's what you have to do. Yeah, obviously, I mean, like, obviously, there's some points that it actually does apply to, like. Not everyone wants to get punched in the face, so why do some people do it? I mean, they could always use the excuse that I love getting punched in the face. So that's pretty much why I don't really think that's a very good say. Maybe, like, treat people the way they want to be treated. Yes, treat other, the pe treat other people the way they want to be treated. Not how you want to be treated. How they want to be treated. Even though it's like, you can't know what they want to be treated like, so... But like, if you want to be treated one way and they want to be treated another way, I'm just rambling on right now, and I'm going to move on to the next point. Yes, the next point that I have to do is actually the reason why I made this video in the first place. It's light at the beginning of a doorway. Okay, I said that wrong. I meant to say a light switch at the beginning of a doorway. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, it's good if you want to, like, turn a light on once you enter a room, but uh, what happens if it's in, like, a bedroom? Like, you're, you're at the doorway, you enter the room, it's light, and then you go to bed, and it's like, oh, I don't want to get out of bed, oh, but I forgot to turn the lights off. What do you do then? Mm -hmm. You have to get out of bed, oh, you're, like, oh, you're so, like... Stuff. And then you have to get out of bed and go to the light switch. Yeah. Then there's also the thing that a, uh, if you're like a teenager, then adults can use that to their advantage and turn the light on. You can't do anything about it. If you're stuck in bed, the lights are on, you're tired, the light's shining down on you, you can't turn it off unless you have like psych psychic abilities or telepathic abilities. That's it. And you can like turn the light off. Let's just turn it off like this. Then turn it back on. Exactly. You see what I just did there? I made a reference back to the start of the video. Uh, please like this video and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment.